Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, this is Renee from Crackberry.com. We are at GDC 2013 and we are talking to Sean about developing for BlackBerry 10 using Visual Studio. Hi, how's it going? So, uh, we've been talking a little bit about the uh, Unity SDK, but um, there's a lot of game developers that love to um, either work on their own engines or write their own games. Yeah. And I mean, really they need the tools that they, that they, they are working with already in their in their own ecosystems. So one of the uh, tools that has always come up for for the IDE World Camp. Um, so if you're a game developer, usually you like your own tools. It's it's very uh, philosophical about and preferential about what, like what kind of tools I think game developers like to, to use. Um, one that's very popular though and has always been popular because of the uh, desktop environment and iterative development on desktop in their game space is Visual Studio. So. Um, we did have a beta going on for a while there on Visual Studio, um, and now, uh, you know, last week we actually released the 1.0 Gold version of the plugin, which works with the BlackBerry NDK. So what you get inside there is really the Visual Studio environment with a whole new set of uh, BlackBerry settings in here to let you build and not have to leave your development environment. So typically, this is already debugging, so I'll show you a little bit. You have a basically this this here is is handling um, a touch event. So if I were to touch here now inside here if I if I touch there it'll hit the breakpoint I can actually just basically break through here and I can actually look at the values and say this is zero I can go further in and get the value so I mean if you want to you basically going through here and so what this is doing this is actually doing GDB debugging um, and, and this is this is amazing it's actually using the NDK stack and and all the tools that are backing it yet it's very tightly integrated into Visual Studio so that they they're, they're working in an environment that they're already familiar with in a flow so um, this is this is we've got a lot of really positive feedback a little bit more about the details I'll stop this this debugging session here um, to start off when you start off you there's a Blackberry settings that we've added inside here and it starts off there's the signing key information um, also inside the BlackBerry settings, you're going to go and you can pick the NDK. So if you have different versions of the NDK, um, you can actually pick them and just rebuild out to that one. So uh, if you have the playbook uh, SDK as well, that'll okay. that'll show up there. So you just install the two NDKs. Then you have your IP information. So when you do click play in a debug session, it does go directly on the device, um, and it'll show you the information deploying here, as well as inside the uh, inside the properties for a project you have information and so what it'll already have is inside here you can go inside and it'll give you a different setting so you'll actually have a blackberry and a blackberry simulator set of targets and usually they only had the win 32 yeah. there so now you're going to be able to go inside there on in the preprocessor add your own preprocessor definitions and you can add different libraries which will be the blackberry ones that you've already built and then everything can just work smoothly for you so really excited about this and a lot of the game developers are really excited about this and and all native game developers i think we're we're pretty excited so we'll see where this goes and what other new features uh, people ask for you're giving them the power that they want. You're putting it into their existing workflows. What more could they ask for? Yeah, yeah, and they don't have to leave. A lot of a lot of times, people were uh, building before on other platforms, and and they're already working in that. Uh, you know, ninety over ninety five percent of the code is typically even higher than that. Ninety eight percent of the code is typically not platform specific. Yeah. So um, it's really nice when you can actually iterate inside a tool like Visual Studio on Windows, and then quickly not have to change tools and click play and and just run straight out and do some testing on the platform um, for the actual mobile side. You can spend your time making games. Yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for now.